Welcome, I am Robert Braun, filling in for Clifford Baines today, who is not handling his divorce too well. The Chinese government has spent billions of dollars on the 2008 Olympics that will be in Beijing. How can we be sure that the whole thing is not a trap? No, we can be sure that it is a trap. They've been preparing for this for thousands of years. It's it's true. What kind of trap should we be expecting? Though? According to satellite images that we got from Beijing, they are digging large holes, which they claim are for Olympic venues, but we know full well that they're going to cover them up with branches and leaves, and the athletes from America are going to fall right into them. Oh, they're going to wait until it gets dark, and they're going to bring out their dragons. Uh -huh. It's most likely going to be during the opening ceremonies when, yes. when we're all together under one roof. Sounds yeah. like a disaster. We have to look happen. at the Falun Gong. Oh. These aged Chinese in their parks training to become killing machines. You know, yes, Falun Gong, yeah. very dangerous. What they're doing is they're practicing slow motion fight scenes. If you speed them up, they could cause a lot of damage. I think that we should send in the pole vaulters first, sort of like a canary in the coal mine. They've got all of those stone warriors just waiting for the right magic spell, and they come alive, and they'll take our athletes and time to the trees. Well, I'm, I'm actually planning on going myself to the Olympics. No. Are you serious? No, I'm a lifelong gymnastics fan, but I will admit it, I am scared for my life. Gymnastics being the ultimate metaphor for life, the limbs outstretched, the joy of sinewy muscles, mm -hmm. the, the balance beam being the balance between light and dark, and of course the rings, the eternal, infinite, endless hope, knowing that that by elevating himself, he's able to, to assume the position of God on earth, yet slightly above earth, floating, separate, but connected.